as we enter the last day of SEC media days and kind of the last uh, frenzy of, of stuff before the fall camp starts, I wanted to dive into one of the most interesting quarterback rooms, I think, in the nation, and that's the Auburn Tigers, because they return, of course, Bo Nix, the starting quarterback. This is entering his third year, but they also enter TJ Finley, the transfer from LSU. And a few weeks ago, or maybe it was just like last week, we did a video breakdown of Bo Nix. And we've done video breakdowns of Bo Nix, of TJ Finley. We've compared the two, uh, but I talked about last week why I think Bo Nix can, one, be a good quarterback, but the steps he needs to take and what he needs to avoid to continue his development. So, I want to do a video today talking about TJ Finley and what he needs to do to potentially become the starting quarterback at Auburn and how he needs to play and develop and what he needs to avoid. And so we're going to do a little video breakdown from his game against Arkansas. But before we dive into the film and talk a little bit more about TJ Finley, I want to encourage you to just consider subscribing to our YouTube channel if you like any quarterback-related content. As long as it's related to the quarterback position, it is fair game here. So TJ Finley started five games for LSU Tigers last year, went two and three in those starts. The games against South Carolina and Arkansas, he played pretty well. The games they won, the games against Alabama, Texas A&M, and Auburn, he did not have very good games. And that's not completely on him. It was a team effort, of course, being a true freshman, playing against some pretty top SEC defenses. And so, of course, he struggled at times. But he showed a lot of good things uh, still in the games that he struggled in and the games that he played well in. And there's a few things I want to look at in the film. There's one, his ability to make any throw from the pocket, right? So his ability to make throws in the pocket, quick, decisive reads. Whenever he has a quick, decisive read like you want in Mike Bobo's offense, he tends to uh, throw accurate passes. Whenever he is kind of like guessing himself or staring down the wide receiver, which we're going to see is when he uh, kind of gets into trouble. So the main thing he wants to avoid is avoid staring down his receivers and continue to play decisive and make quick decisions. But also there are times where he needs to be patient, especially in Mike Bobo's offense where plays need to develop. And there's a few clips of him being patient as well. So let's dive into the film. Let's see what he needs to, what he does well and what he he needs to continue to do well to potentially be the starting quarterback at Auburn. Let's go ahead and, and jump into the film. So here's a great demonstration of arm strength and decisiveness. So there's a difference between being patient and being decisive. Uh, you need to have both of those uh, key ingredients to be successful in Bobo's offense. We're going to see him hit uh, Terrace Marshall kind of this glance type route. We'll watch it real quick, then break it down. But watch his decisive uh, decision making. And the ball gets out quick, and the course that arm strength is is impressive right there to make any throw. But watch when the ball is thrown. That's when that's what's most impressive to me here. Not a big window. He's throwing it right now. He only has a little bit of space here. If he waits any time at all, then he's gonna have to wait for this pocket here. Throws a rocket before the linebacker is able to get over there. And then he's able to pick up a first down. Maybe he fumbles here, looks like. Yeah, but regardless, good throw there. Uh, the arm strength is on display, yes, but I like the decisiveness that Finley shows in this play. Of course, I'm going to have to bump it up. Let's try to go a little faster here. Axel right, so Hill will watch here. Again, reading him here. Good, quick delivery. Another good, quick, decisive throw by Finley showing his arm strength. Running just a route right through the middle before the DB can get there. So we'll watch it real quick. Good rhythm throw. Watch filling the pocket. One, two, three. Quick hitch. The ball gets out. Ends up being a first down. Not No wasted time there. Very decisive throw. Good read on Finley's part. And again, showing his arm strength. Ball comes out right there. Quick delivery. No wasted time. Uh, good job sh showing the ability to throw over the middle of the field as well for Finley. Uh, something that Mike Bobo will, will want to do. Uh, attack all areas of the field, especially the middle of the field to open up bigger plays. Hopefully we'll be able to watch this here. Again, quick, decisive, third step, quick hitch. Able to sh throw a good, quick ball. Here's a quick, decisive throw on an out route here. So showing the ability to throw from the left side of the left hash to the right side of the field. Ball comes out. I guess it's a little stop route, not an out route. Still a long throw there. And uh, watch the, the, the rhythm that Finley's able to stay in. Quick, oop, not bad. We'll see a quick three-step drop, one quick hitch. Uh, setting his feet and throwing a, a good ball. Uh, and it, you really see the, ac the accuracy one and then the speed on the ball as well. A lot of velocity coming out. So left side of the field to the right side of the field. Again, uh, pro style throw that Mike Bobo will, of course, be having here. Let's just watch the rhythm. because His lower half, his feet really set up this throw. One, two, three, hitch. Ball's out. A lot of good things there. and Something that will fit Bobo's offense. So here we have Finley being patient in the pocket and letting the play develop, uh, buying time with his legs, but staying in the pocket. He's going to hit his receiver going across the middle of the field. So let's watch it one more time. 
because uh, whenever he does these type of plays and let the plays develop, he's able to deliver a good ball. We're here. I stay downfield. Throws a good ball. Ends up being a first down. Just letting the play develop. So if you can let the play develop, especially in Mike Bobo's offense, where t there will be time needed to let the play develop and be patient, and I think he's got a shot here. We'll watch it from this angle. Watch his eyes downfield the whole time. Last time, eyes downfield. Delivers a good ball. So as good as Finley can be in the pocket, I, I do think to truly beat up Bo Nix and, and be the guy at Auburn, that he does need to continue to make plays like this when needed uh, to improvise with his feet. Uh, when things break down, when nothing's there, he needs to be able to get outside the pocket and make throws like that. Uh, I think that will put Finley in a much better position than just being able to throw from the pocket. Strong arm, can rip it from the pocket, but being able to use his legs, buy time, deliver the ball downfield on the run, uh, I think will, will could really help him uh, have a, a potential shot at that starting job at Auburn. So being able to continue to make plays like this, I think, is would be key and, and it would be advantageous to uh, Finley. Okay, totally went too fast. Here we go. Yeah, just just having just enough mobility to do that, I think, could be a good thing. So, so these are the type of plays that Finley will, will need to avoid if he wants to win the starting job at Auburn. Let, let's watch it, uh, and then we'll break it down one more time. Uh, but just kind of forcing the ball when nothing is there and, and keeping his eye on his receiver the entire time, right? Staring down his receiver. Uh, it really shows the defense where he wants to go with the ball. So we'll see. We have a zone here. So we got DB going deep. This DB over here covering the middle of the field as he has his post. Finley's looking at his receiver the entire time. Does not even know that this DB is in the equation. Uh, if he was reading the field as opposed to reading the receiver, then he would he would see that. And again, I think with experience and with more time, he would uh, be able to notice these type of defenses. But still, you want to avoid uh, these type of throws here because it very well could have been an interception. We'll watch it one more time. But you can really see his eyes staring down his receiver. So eliminating that. Let's go see if we can make it go a little faster here. Okay, here we go. Watch him look at his receiver the whole time. Doesn't even notice that the DB over here is part of the play. Very well could have been interceptions. Just avoiding staring down your receiver. So again, just a few clips showing what Finley does well and what he needs to do to win the starting job at Auburn. I think a lot of things have to happen. I think Bo Nix does have to struggle, though, for Finley to take that job because I think Bo Nix is a good quarterback. He's got a lot of potential. And like we talked about in the previous videos on Bo Nix and whenever we put up the SEC video a few days ago, we are high on Bo Nix, and there's a lot of potential there. I don't think the 2020 mishaps were totally on him. I think there's plenty of blame to go around. So uh, regardless who ends up starting, though, at Auburn or who plays the majority of the snaps, I think they're going to be in a good situation moving forward. Again, we think it's Bo Nix right now. It's his job to lose. I think he has to struggle, and TJ Finley has to come in and do all these things we talked about and do them very well uh, to get to take that uh, starting job. So uh, let me know your thoughts. What do you think about the Auburn quarterback room, the quarterback situation? Does TJ Finley have a legit shot? Can he come in and take it? Do you totally disagree with me that he has different qualities? Let me know below, and we'll see you next time on our next quarterback-related video.